role and kind of be sure the example in the class action way most definitely, uh, you know, me and Kay, both we've been in college for a long time now, going on four years, so uh, it's all pretty much normal for us. So just really, we're all emphasizing like bringing a guy along with us, like make sure that everybody's coming along with us. So how's how good is the competition right now compared to maybe previous years in terms of depth? How good do you think the competition is in the offensive line? Man, depth, we're 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 deep in the offensive line position, uh, way better than when I first got here. Um, Man, we got about 16, 17 guys, and I know for sure about a good 14, 15 because we're battling. So uh, there's there's definitely battles uh, up on line, uh, line of scrimmage, battles between each position, especially the tackle spots, so, uh, as well as interior. So uh, we all make each other better each and every day. Uh, but also it's a competition, as you know, and the best five get to play. Where are you seeing Javante Spragans grow from last year to now? Javante is, uh, Sprague has been playing, he's playing really hard. Uh, he always plays hard, very hard player. Uh, the best, the really thing that Sprague needs to focus on really is mental. And uh, we've been really focusing on that, really make sure he's getting in, watch the film more, make sure he's learning the playbook well. And, uh, he's been doing that, he's been, he's since leaps and bounds from uh, last year, and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great to see him watch him play. It seems like Coach Ellaby is really like, okay, whoever has the best day of practice is the quote unquote starter for the next day. You guys kind of like that? Is that something that he's been doing? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Just uh, it, it forces you, it forces us to be consistent. It forces, us, like I said, stack days and uh, build consistency. And uh, I think it's great. I think it's great because uh, the guys that play harder, the guys that play the best, in practice will play in the game. Yeah. Like it's, it's always the motto is the best five go out there and play. So if you don't play good in practice, I mean, you're not gonna play. So it's, I think it's great. So how much better is the understanding uh, of the offense, the understanding of the expectations of you making the entire group now compared to maybe in the spring? In the spring. I think we really harped on just in the meeting room, those just seeing the pictures in the meeting room, going taking it from the classroom to the field and walk the reps. Walk the reps are very important. Just seeing those different pictures, seeing seeing how defenses line up and the different formations that they, they have and different uh, odd fronts, even fronts that they line up in and working our plays against them is great. And uh, like I said, in spring, like leaps and bounds from where we were earlier in spring, just knowing the playbook. Uh, it's a lot of plays, but still just at the end of the day, we're we're still repping them, and those that's experience, and that's the best teacher. Coach talked about you know, different techniques. You guys have been able to do some different things. Is there is there more flexibility for you guys in terms of getting the job? How do you get the job done in this offense compared to maybe previously? Um, I want to say I want to say more flexibility. It's just you have you have you definitely have different techniques for different plays and different fronts, and to where like you can. Uh, use those techniques to execute your blocks. Uh, at the end of the day, you got to get the job done, and as well as you got to play better, play, play with great technique, great um, good body posture, and everything. So, playing with the right technique is great. Two more. What was your reaction to Dan Davis getting put on scholarship last year, and, and when did you think he was a guy that, that could probably play for you guys here? Man, I was ecstatic. I was I was really happy for him. Uh, Dan really works very hard. Um, he really puts puts all his effort into it. A uh, really great guy all, on and off the field, and uh, he's well deserving of a scholarship. And uh, he's definitely going to be, he's definitely going to help us this year in the fall. So I can't wait to see him, can't wait to watch him play. What have you seen out of Darnell kind of moving from right tackle to left tackle and getting some work for right left tackle? Mm -hmm. uh, it just goes to show you that Darnell is just, man, he's he's a freak. Man, he can he can do anything. He can, man, once he puts his mind to it, he can do anything. He's he's He does some unbelievable things that you'd be like, wow, man, like, like not the average person could do that. And uh, just seeing him flip from right to left uh, just goes on to show just that he can be flexible. He can play both tackle spots and he can uh, be good and get comfortable at left tackle. So it yeah, help us be in the fall, definitely. Jimmy, and then we'll be wrapped up. What's it, what's it like playing for Coach Ellaby? Uh It's great. LB pushes us, Coach Ellaby pushes us uh, t to our highest limits. He pushes us past our limits. Uh, he emphasizes uh, film. Weight room, make sure that we play hard. Like I said, and that comes from Coach Hyper, playing hard on our opponent, just playing hard, emphasizing uh, technique. He actually teaches us the game of football, and uh, that's even greater. That's even best to even know what we're doing on the field, as well as just playing hard and just really playing together. Thank you, guys.